there is a bunch of features in Last Day on Earth that were shown since all the way back in 2017, but were never seen again. I will be answering this question in today's video, along with a bunch of ideas for these features, hoping one day they will ever come out. This first one is probably one of the most anticipated features in LDOE. If Kiefer devs ever decide to put their effort into it, the game will be changed forever, bringing in new players and old ones as well. Because it has been in the game for a while, visible on the global map, Bunker Charlie can only be accessible using the Mi-26 helicopter, which we will be discussing later on. This bunker is a lot different from the one we know and love, but it's a lot more interesting. It's on an island located south of the global map in the middle of the ocean. Now you know why you need a helicopter to access it. One interesting thing about Bunker Charlie is that it's marked with a green circle, unlike Alpha and Bravo, suggesting that it might be a safe zone to visit. One theory is that it is occupied by the military, and this is where the airdrops are sent from. Adding to this theory, Bunker Charlie could be infected by now, likely full of military-type zombies, armed to the teeth. It could be a new challenging area for us with brand new resources, items, and much more. Also, since it's in the ocean, the deeper levels would be submerged in water and you will need the snorkel mask to explore further, fighting unique zombies with new underwater mechanics. As said before, a vehicle is needed to visit this area, the second feature of this video. Of course, to access Bunker Charlie, you will need a special vehicle. While it has been teased all the way back in 2019 and is also visible in the game as a crafting recipe, it has never seen the light of day. The helicopter has been a feature that all old players are waiting for. In one tweet from the official LDOE account in 2019, it reads, Combat helicopters that used to spread terror and death on battlefields are rusting and turning into piles of metal scrap. Will survivors manage to get those birdies up and running to use them to their own advantage? Along with an image of the helicopter, we can assume that Keffer had plans for this vehicle from the start, but they never fully went through with this feature. In another tweet from April this year, And that's why we're cooking up something special, a major event. We hasten to say that we won't be introducing a helicopter in Tungsten, but we're working really hard and doing our best to make sure you'll love the May event. So yeah, no plans for the helicopter anymore. What we know from the crafting recipe inside the game is that it requires a bunch of rare materials to craft, one of which is tungsten which is another forgotten feature that we'll talk about later. The possibilities of the Mi-26 are limitless. Certainly, at first, we will be able to go to Bunker Charlie, but I imagine we would be able to visit any locations on the map, which can be a bad idea, since the noise of the Healy would attract all the zombies. Additionally, new helipads can be scattered all over the map that can be used as checkpoints of some sort for the player to regain energy and continue on their journey. Now, obviously, to be able to clear this new dangerous area, you will need high-tier equipment, and that's our next point. This feature is also tied to the previous ones and can also be seen in the in-game crafting menu. It can be found at level 160, and as of today, not much has been said about this item. The crafting recipe reads, Refined in all aspects armor in trendy black. Adds armor. Of course, I'm talking about the assault armor. We all want this armor. It looks so cool, and that's all we need. It's a shame that Kefir has not released it yet. I don't think it would take too much effort, and we would be able to stock up on this armor to clear the more dangerous locations. For now, the Kevlar armor is still the most protective armor you can obtain, but I'm still hoping for the assault armor to come out soon. Now, let's talk about another cool feature, probably the coolest one. So, we have new locations, new vehicles, and new equipment. Now, you know what we need? Something that can protect our base from the most dangerous zombies and raiders. Something that we can use as players to attack other bases and level them to the ground. I'm talking about the mortar. This piece of equipment is without a doubt one of the coolest features of LDOE. Unfortunately, Kefir doesn't seem to care that much about it. In the commune event, the player can use the mortar by talking to Otis to aid him in the fight. There is nothing more than that right now in the game. Imagine using the mortar for raids. It would be awesome. I assume it could destroy metal walls, and you would only get one shot. The explosive used could be a rare item, rarer than the C4. This way, players will be obliged to restructure their base for better protection. Of course, one solution to this could be to upgrade to high-tier walls, but I think other ways can be used to defend against this weapon of destruction. Feel free to share your ideas in the comments. For this next one, it's something completely different from previous features, and is highly anticipated by players. In Last Day on Earth, we have a couple of companions to help us in our adventures. There is, of course, the true friend dog that can follow us everywhere, and the drone, a newly introduced item. Adding to that list of forgotten features, there is the horse feeder and saddle, both items with crafting recipes but are not obtainable. These have been in the game for a long time now, 
And as usual, no updates from the devs. A horse can be useful for the player in many aspects of the game. Traveling without using energy or gasoline, going into locations that cannot be accessed by the chopper, and much more. A new companion for us is welcome since there is no multiplayer in the game. For now, we will have to be happy with our true friend dog. Now, if you've noticed in this video, many of these features require a unique material. A material teased for so long, players have given up on it. We will probably see it in the game at some point, but it doesn't seem to be soon. Of course, I'm talking about Tungsten. It is used in all the features I mentioned in this video and many more. Tungsten is likely to be released a long time from now because of all the items it is used for. I would imagine it can be obtained in the rarest of zones as a raw ore, maybe in the deeper floors of Bunker Alpha and Bravo, or even in Bunker Charlie, and then can be refined in the melting furnace as it is already shown in game. If Tungsten ever comes out at some point, the game would be changed forever. A new rare resource is all we want, along with all the crafting recipes. This was my video about six forgotten features of LDOE. Feel free to leave your opinions and ideas in the comment section below. And until the next video, check this tier list of locations.